Hey friends, happy Sunday and welcome back to another week of What's for Dinner. If you're new here, hello and welcome. I am Taylor. I'm a stay-at-home wife and a mom and I share these What's for Dinner videos every Sunday to hopefully give you some new meal ideas and to motivate you to cook more for your family. I've got some delicious and easy recipes coming up in today's video and today's video is also a collab with two of my wonderful friends that I made through YouTube. We've got Tori over at Mountain Mama Living and Tiffany over at Small Town 6. I absolutely love both of these ladies. They do lots of food related content as well as just like content related to being a mom just like me. So I know that y'all will enjoy their channels if you haven't already checked them out. I have collabed with both of them in the past on what's for dinners and other videos like grocery hauls and stuff because they do those as well. So some of you might have seen them before but if you haven't please make sure you go check out their video, subscribe, let them know that you came over from my channel. And yeah, just go show them some love. Their links will be in the description box down below. Now let's go ahead and get into this week's what's for dinner. Friday night we had French bread pizza, which is something that I used to make all the time. And it's like a super easy variation of pizza. I had a loaf of French bread that I picked up at Publix and I'm only making a little bit over half of the loaf because my husband Andy was gonna be at work until late. So I actually made the other half fresh for him when he got home. Cause you know, food like pizza and stuff is a better fresh. So I took that part of the French bread that I'm making now and and then I cut it in half horizontally, so I've got two sides. And then I just brushed it with some of the Chef Chamois garlic butter, because we're gonna be turning this into basically like garlic bread. And then this went in the oven for five minutes on 450 degrees. And then when it came out, I just topped it with some marinara sauce and some mozzarella cheese and some pepperoni. And then it went back in the oven on 425 again for about 12 minutes until the cheese was nice and melty and the bread was like nice and crispy. We love these French bread pizzas. As I said, it's been like a while since I've made them, but they are definitely a favorite. Um, and then you don't have to like make crust or anything like that. And a lot of the times you can find like French bread and stuff like on clearance and just throw it in the freezer and use that for pizza at a later date. Makes things super easy. So here's what that looked like when it came out of the oven. Nice and melty and a little bit golden brown. And we just had this with some salad on the side for those of us that like salad and just some fresh veggies on the side for Lily. Saturday night I made a pork chop and potato sheet pan meal. I had a bunch of potatoes that I wanted to use up so I just cut those up into like about equal size like one inch pieces and then I started getting those seasoned up with some olive oil, some onion salt, some salt and pepper, some garlic powder, a little bit of Badia Complete and a little bit of Tony's Creole seasoning. And then I just tossed those around, made sure everything was nice and well coated. And then I just spread those around my sheet pan, like around the edges, so that I had room to place my pork chops in the center. And then I put my pork chops in the center of the pan. These are super thick cut pork chops. I like to use like the thick cut pork chops for this because then they cook at like the same length of time that it takes the potatoes to cook. Um, cause if you have like a thinner cut pork chop, it's going to cook really fast. These are like at least an inch thick. They're the ones from Good Chop. My Good Chop link is always down below if you're interested in trying that. I am an affiliate, so I do earn a commission if you sign up with my link, but you guys also save some money if you sign up with my link. Their pork chops are one of my favorite things from them besides the bacon. These pork chops always turn out really good and I like the thickness of them. So I just seasoned those up with some of that same seasoning from the potatoes. I did that on both sides. And then these went in the oven on 425 for about 35 minutes. That's about how long it took for everything to be done. I checked the internal temperature on my pork chops to make sure they were fully cooked. And then here is what everything looked like plated. I served it with a can of green beans on the side. Some of us had some hot sauce and some ketchup. But sheet pan, pork chops, and potatoes are just one of my go-to meals anytime I have like extra leftover potatoes from something else and I just want to use them up fast. It's also just like super simple. Sheet pan meals are always really easy. 
Sunday night was my daughter Lily's birthday dinner. She just turned eight. So her birthday wasn't actually until Monday, but we had some family over on Sunday for dinner. To feed a little bit of a crowd, I decided to make hot dogs on the grill. Andy actually cooked those up for me, but I made chili so we could have chili dogs. So I'm using my Instant Pot as a slow cooker this day. It's not my favorite for the slow cook function, but I wanted to use it for the ease of browning my ground beef. So I browned up two pounds of ground beef with a little bit of salt, a little bit of chili powder, and a little bit of this McCormick chili seasoning. I'm going to be adding more of all that in later once the meat is browned, but I do like to brown my meat with some of the seasoning at the beginning. So I got it all nice and browned. There wasn't a lot of grease, so I didn't drain it. So then I just added in one cup of water, the rest of that McCormick seasoning packet, a lot more of the chili powder, and then I just stirred that around and let that slow cook for about like six hours on low. So here's what all we had. Of course, we had some buns for our chili dogs. We had this deep fried pickle flavored dip, which was actually really good. It's very pickly. So if you don't like pickles, obviously don't get it, but it was very good. We had regular old French onion dip. We had our ruffles and then I warmed up a can of Bush's baked beans. We had our hot dogs that Andy cooked on the grill, ketchup, mustard. We had our chili, of course, and then some toppings, some cheese and some onion, tomato, we had salad stuff. I had like a bag of like the garden salad mix, different dressings, Parmesan cheese and cucumbers. And yeah, that was Lily's birthday party dinner. And then we had sung happy birthday to her and we had my sister on call from Florida so she could sing happy birthday to her as well. Happy birthday to you. Tomorrow. <laughs> we gotta make a wish. Make a wish. Go. One more. more. There you go. Yay. So Monday night was Lily's actual birthday, and for everybody in my family, I always try to make whatever they want for dinner on their birthday. I do this for my sister and my brother and my uncle, and whenever I make somebody dinner, I ask them what they want. And so Lily picked chicken wings that's one of her favorite foods so I like to always dry them off really well and then for my seasoning mixture I'm mixing together about a tablespoon of a baking powder some paprika some onion salt some garlic powder and some salt and pepper that's pretty much what I always use and then I just sprinkle that on both sides of the chicken wings and then I always cook mine in the air fryer I do have to do them in batches because you don't want them like overlapping and whatnot so I did about half in each batch and then I flip them about halfway through. So they go in for 10 minutes on 400, then I flip them over and do them for 12 minutes on, on 400 again. And then I take them out and do the other batch. And while the second batch is cooking, I have the first batch on a sheet pan in my oven, like on a warm setting, just to keep them warm. So the kids just like their wings plain with like the seasonings that I put on it and Andy and I like to coat ours in some buffalo sauce and then to go with it we had some leftover chips and dip from the day before and also some salad and fresh veggies. Tuesday night we tried these chicken dumplings from Aldi. It did not have air fryer directions on it, but I saw my friend Ashley make them in the air fryer, so I decided to give it a try. I just sprayed them with some olive oil cooking spray and then stuck them in my air fryer on 375 for about 10 minutes flipping halfway through and they turned out great and I served them with some fried rice. I've shown my fried rice many times so I will have a video of that linked down below for y'all. 
the dumplings didn't come with any kind of sauce it said sauce not included on the bag but i felt like they needed something so i just mixed together some soy sauce and this crunchy chili onion garlic oil stuff from trader joe's and let me tell you this little sauce that i made it was not much but it was delicious so the kids just had the dumplings with their fried rice none of the sauce because they didn't want to try it they were afraid it was gonna be too spicy and then i had it with some of that sauce everybody loved this there was no complaints they loved the dumplings they were very similar to like the pot stickers that we had from aldi before um like the filling wise except they were um chicken instead of pork i think we had the chicken pot stickers too i can't remember but i think we preferred the pork pot stickers but yeah these were good they were like a seasonal buy though so i don't think they're in the store anymore but if you do see them pick them up we love them Wednesday night was a classic family favorite. We did some tuna casserole with a can of peas. Again, this is a recipe that I've shown many times on my channel, so I will have a video where I made that linked down below for y'all. And finally, Thursday night, which brings us to our crock pot meal of the week. The kids have martial arts on Thursdays, so I've been doing crock pot meals every Thursday for about the past month and plan to continue to do it as long as they are in martial arts. It just makes it really easy to come home to something that's ready to go. So in my crock pot, I've got a couple frozen chicken breasts because of course I forgot to thaw out my chicken. And to that, I just added a ranch seasoning packet and about half of a bottle of some buffalo wing sauce. This is one of my favorite things to do. It's super simple and you can do so many different things with this buffalo chicken. So when we came home from martial arts, all I had to do was shred up the chicken, stir it around, make sure everything is mixed together really well. And then we made some quesadillas with this. You can make buffalo chicken pizza. Um, you could make just buffalo chicken sandwiches if you wanted to. Really, you could do anything with this, anything you want, even like some tacos or something I think would be good. But one of our favorite ways to eat it is quesadillas. So I put a little bit of butter in my pan and then I get my tortillas in there put some cheese on there. We did um, some queso quesadilla cheese, got our chicken on there, and then we also did some mozzarella cheese. Occasionally, I will put more buffalo sauce on minor Andy's quesadillas, and sometimes I will do ranch on the kids' quesadillas. It just depends on what buffalo sauce I'm using. Sometimes if they're like really hot ones, that's when I will add the ranch. Um, but this time, nobody added anything extra, just meat and cheese this time. And to go with this, those of us that like salad had salad and Lily had some fresh veggies. As I said, this is a favorite. It's super quick, super easy, and it's delicious. But that is going to do it for this week's What's for Dinner. I hope that you guys enjoyed it. I hope that you found some new ideas of some things to try. I feel like most of the stuff that I made is stuff that I have made before, but stuff that I haven't actually shared in a while, I think. Um, so let me know if you found anything new that you plan on trying. And don't forget, as I mentioned at the beginning, this was a collab with my friend Tori and my friend Tiffany. So please make sure you go check out their channels, show them some love, subscribe, let them know that you came over from my channel. As always, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you have a great week and I will see you in the next one. Bye.